With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, let's take a question. The question says that the formation of a solution from two components can be considered as first is pure solvent to the separated solvent that is delta H1, pure solute delta H2 and separated solvent and solute is delta H3. It forms a solution. So first let for the solute, we will let be B and the solvent to be A. Okay solvent to be A because in the third case there is solvent and solute. So the first case will be A, A interactions, second case will be B, B interactions and third case will be A, B interactions, right? So they have told that in the first case there is delta H1, there is delta enthalpy is delta H1, in this case it is delta H2 and in this case it is delta H3, right? So we know that ideally, ideally for the solution delta H mixing is equal to 0. Delta H mixing is equal to 0 and when it is possible delta H mixing is equal to or we can say solution, okay, is equal to delta H solvent plus delta H solute plus delta H solute to solvent, solute to solvent, okay. So this is the condition for an ideal solution, this is the condition for the ideal solution or we, it, it is also termed as the Henry Hess law, Henry Hess law. Okay, so here it will be delta H solution is equal to delta H1 plus delta H2 plus delta H3 for the ideal solution. So the answer is this one, first option. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.